Now you can text Speakers Corner live from your mobile phone by sending keyword TXT followed by your message to 24724. Come on down to the Jay's shop at Gate 5 of the Rogers Center. Speakers Corner and Rogers want you to go to bat for what you believe in. Step up to the plate and have your say at our mobile Speakers Corner. And you can win $100 worth of official Jay's and Argos wear. City TV rules! Woo! I love the Jays. The Jays are the best. You guys rock, man. Especially Roy Halladay. I love him. I think that the Toronto Blue Jays are going to do fantastic this year. Uh, they look like they've done a great deal in uh, trying to put together a team. And uh, as long as they don't have any injuries this year, uh, I think they'll compete. The Yankees look like they're falling apart. Uh, Boston, you know, without Schilling, uh, that's some significant loss. But the Jays have some uh, pretty good uh, players and had some good people step up last year. Now as for the Leafs, let's not even talk about the Leafs. That's another story. We're at the uh, auto show. Auto show. Auto show. Here we are. Down here, me, my little brother, Pierre. And uh, that's it. That's all we got. All the cool cars are here. And my favorite is the Lamborghini. My sister's favorite is the RX-8. The RX-8. And my dad's favorite is the GMC. Hey! It's a car show and it's awesome. What is our purpose in life? Why are we here? Yeah. Why am I in this world? Why am I keeping it real the way I do? I don't know, maybe I just am. Hi. Um, I like cats and seals. What's, um, do you know me? I like baseball. We just went to the car show. It yeah. was pretty good, but we're tired now. Yes, very tired. Okay, are we done? Yes. We spent today um, walking around Young Street in Toronto handing out sandwiches that, said, that were um, included with the note, Jesus Loves You. Mm -hmm. And um, our main focus was to hand out sandwiches to people who are homeless. And we noticed that a lot of people have bad uh, misconceptions about homeless people, thinking that they're they're, you know, bad people dirty, or they're dirty lazy, or lazy dealers. drug dealers. Yeah. But we, um, from our own personal experience, we can tell that a lot of these people, the only big difference between them and us is that their lives are just a little harder than us. I'd like to talk about living on the streets. I'm 42 years old and it's hell at any age. I just came from the youth rally. And I think it's a disgrace to our country that our young people are living on the streets. And uh, something should be done about it. I know that I think they spend more than one percent on the budget for housing. I think it should be increased. And uh, there's not a lonelier feeling than being on the street and sleeping outside. There's somebody here who lives on Queen Street, homeless, who has a Rottweiler. And I have a Rottweiler, and I don't like to see that. I don't like to see that with any dogs. I don't think that anybody that doesn't have a home should own a dog. Yeah, it's hell out there. It really is. Uh, I don't know what more I can tell you. It's something you'd have to experience, but uh, it's a really lonely feeling. Uh, you know, you got no family. Possibly you lost contact with them for some reason or another. Uh, I'm fortunate now. I've got a place to live, and I'm getting in contact with my family again. I've got a roof over my head. I came down to support these young people. It's your choice to not have a home. Oh, it's, it's like man's best friend. You know, but you know what? They're not bred that way anymore. They're bred to have a home. They're bred to have shelter. They're bred to have food. You if know, I didn't have a house, if, if I didn't it, have a home, do it. I wouldn't have a dog. I work at a coffee shop not too far from here. And every day this girl would come in and she was homeless. And every time she ordered a tea or something like that, and if she didn't have enough money, I'd just give it to her. You know, the hell of it. It's a dollar twenty. deal. She came in for a while. And after that, today she came in. This time though, she had clean hair. It looks like she just came fresh out of a shower. She was wearing clean clothes, everything. And she said, hey, how are you doing? I got a new job, I'm doing great now, how are you? And I've never seen, I've never felt that before. Like, to see someone elevate themselves to that point where you can see that self-confidence in their face. We're here on, on behalf, behalf of all the young, young people at Covenant House to, to say thanks to everyone who came out and, and supported, supported our vigil for homeless youth. youth. Special thanks to City TV, CP24, 
for helping us to organize and promote the vigil tonight. This really helped us to reach a lot of people, especially young people. And I know some people who would look at homeless people and go, ah, oh, yeah, they're all scumbags, they're all dirty and whatever, they're nuts or something, that's why they're homeless. And you know what? F you. If you could look at that girl and you didn't know she was homeless, you'd have no idea. You'd just go, whoa, hi. You'd have no idea, you wouldn't scorn her, you wouldn't look down on her. All I don't know is what gave you the right to do that in the first place? I mean, these, these are human beings. Who cares if they're homeless, they're poor, whatever. They're victims of circumstance. They didn't choose to be poor. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be homeless. And you know what? The next time you look at a homeless person or something, just, just remember that's a person. They got a name, they were born somewhere, they got parents, they had a home at one point. That's just all I gotta say. Boys, boys, boys. They suck, okay? okay. It's the new year, and it's been a month, <laughs> and we've been killed. No, no, don't swear. Okay. We've been really <laughs> over a lot, okay? <laughs> because guys are all players. Why do guys have to be players? Why can't you just settle down with one girl? One girl. Why? Okay. They, you guys never can settle down no matter what, okay? And it makes me nervous because girls want to settle down. I mean, we're 18, and all we want is just to settle down with one guy. Casual sex between friends, I think, is probably the best thing that could happen because it refrains you from going out and meeting other people and doing it with other people that you don't know much about and you don't know what they got, you know? And your friends, you're with them every day and you know what they're all about and you know if they're clean or dirty or blah, blah, blah. But either way, casual sex between friends is the way to go. Guys, all they want to do is, is screw around. And I don't understand what, what what's the point. You could get the pleasure from one girl. What's the point of getting pleasure from five billion exactly. girls? Exactly. I was talking to a guy and then after how long? I found out he had a girlfriend. <laughs> That's always great to I hate you. You shouldn't have sex until you're married, and that uh, the Lord gave us genitals to be used for marriage purposes only. And uh, marriage. Marriage is key. <laughs> <laughs> marriage is good, of course, but at this age and time, we just want sex. And what's, what's better than casual sex, you know? Like, between friends. I love my friends, and they love me. And casual sex is the way to be. Good night, everyone. We're yeah. faced with unprotected sex, you know? And you it's know? a reality, no matter what you all want to hear, it's a reality. And this stuff is not cool, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Do you want to have a baby when you're 14? All these schools that everyone goes to, they're like, no, we're not going to give out condoms because condoms aren't important because that'll, that'll encourage unprotected sex. But that's not true. That's a reality. It's happening anyways. You and I know that it's the most productive nation on earth. That we are richer by any standard of comparison than is any other nation in the world. My name is Michael. I'm on the delegation to come up here to welcome Canada as the 51st state of the United States of America. We want to welcome you for your timber, your natural resources that we're going to rape and pillage and uh, take over your entire country. Thank you and have a nice day. I came back to Canada after I had gone to school here and gone to school in the States because I was concerned about the brain drain. And I come back here thinking it'll be great, you know? There'll be health care, it'll be wonderful, all the great perks about being a Canadian will be back in my life. Well, I come back and it turns out that there really isn't any more health care thanks to our Ontario government and there really isn't any reason to make me stay here. The pay is less, everything is less. So this is my question. If Canada is so worried about the supposed brain drain of all of our educated young people going to the States, then why don't they do something to make it more advantageous for us to stay here? And if they can't pay us competitive salaries, then make sure that we have things like health care and better education and maybe less expensive education. Because that's the only thing that's going to keep people staying here is a better quality of life. But if I'm getting paid more down there for the same job, I don't mind paying for my health care. We're from, uh, you know, Cleveland, Ohio, but people think we're Canadian, you know, and I just don't understand that. Your country sucks. Because Canada sucks. <laughs> Canada sucks really, really big, you know what. I, I just really don't understand it. I mean, Canada is just, you know, you're so peace-loving and everything. You can't they trust just, they're just followers. You can't just say they're followers of us Americans. They're, they're puppets. To our exactly. They, as my friend Michael says, we, you Canadians, are puppets to us Americans. You really, you know, I mean, you really need to find an identity, you Canadians. 
I mean, you don't even know what the hell you want. You guys think you're American. You've got so Because that's how you act. You're so multicultural. You're so multicultural in this boiling pot here. Melting pot, whatever the f***. <laughs> uh, you really just got to, you know, learn how to please yourselves. Those people from Boston, uh, it was a couple and their children, and they came up here about a week ago. And they were talking about how America wants to incorporate Canada, make it the 51st state. And, you know, the tone of the whole thing was like they sounded like they were doing us a big favor. I believe that Canada should become a part of the United States. So, um, as someone from the United States who's visiting here in Canada, I want to uh, let you know that a few of us are actually thinking about uh, plans to incorporate Canada into the United States. Then we could use the same money and not like this kind of silly loonies. What's a loony? I totally disagree. And I think there's a lot of Canadians with me that uh, we don't need Americans here. We don't want your health care system. We have a lot of good things here. And the last thing we need is to throw it all away for like some green money with like pictures of Abraham Lincoln. Like, get a clue, okay? Boston people or any Americans thinking of taking over Canada, we will resist you. You can text Speaker's Corner live from your mobile phone by sending keyword TXT followed by your message to 24724. There was a mushroom, sad little mushroom. There was a meadow, ready to cry. I have a song that I wrote. I hope you like it. Now, if you think you've heard it before, no, you haven't. actually of doing different versions of that song I was thinking maybe the country version or something something that would be like uh... you are working on the farm I want desire belief when I do see I would like it at 6 a.m. every day I was thinking maybe uh, a rap version or some kind of dance version too for a dance club would be something But I think what takes the cake is maybe the uh, East Coast version. Thanks a lot. Appreciate that. My name is. Conchita. And I'm Barbecue. And my name is Hardcore. And we are the, the Beat Girls. Girls. And now is the time when we play a very special game on the show. This is called Conchita's Lip Tricks. Oh, I love Conchita's Lip Tricks. This is how we play. I'm going to make a shape with my lips, and you, the audience, have to guess what it is. Lip Trick number one. <gasps> All right, does anybody out there know what it is? Lip Trick number one? I'll tell you. Lip Trick number one is indeed a love seat. I can see that, Conchita. Mm -hmm. Do you see that at home? Mm -hmm. yeah. I see sometimes you guys have a celebrity look-alike section on Speaker's Corner, and uh, everybody says I look like Jim Carrey, but I don't think I do. I don't see it. Do you guys? <laughs> <laughs> Lip trick number two is as thus. Do we have any takers out there? You. You. You standing in the back. No, no, it is not a sofa. You see... Mm. We did a love seat before, so it's not a sofa. Any more guesses? <gasps> you, lovely matron in a house coat. No, it is not. I can't even repeat that. Okay, Conchita, what is lip trick number two? Lip trick number two is indeed the mathematical symbol for infinity. I see that. Ooh. I can see that. Lip trick number three is indeed as thus. <gasps> That's a hard one. No, no, it is not a cut's bottom. <sighs> Lip trick number three, I guess I'll just have to tell them. Okay. Dirty, dirty, sexy. Lip trick number three is indeed a Remembrance Day poppy. <gasps> and thank you for playing Crazy Conchita's Lip Tricks. Yay! Down, girl. You see, I got ear piercings, and now I just recently got tongue piercing. Tongue piercing, people look down this day, they think that... 
oh, we're freaks, or like, you know, it's, it's subculture. It's not, it's not, it's not. I don't see what's wrong with them. So I might talk funny for a while, but don't, don't make fun of me, Dave. I haven't noticed. <laughs> Shut up. There's nothing wrong with his voice. Philistines. <laughs> Anyway, I'd just like to say that, you know, people often look down on the tongue piercings and I don't really think it, it, it's right. It's so maybe my beef. Maybe you could put it in that segment. <laughs> I've got a red goatee. However, I do have brown hair, as you can see. Red goatee, brown hair. You tell me. <laughs> Thanks a lot. What do you say now? Let's everybody dance. Here we go. Let's go, everybody. We have like, no, listen, we have good bodies, we're pretty, we come from decent families, and we don't appreciate girls who come up to us in the bar and like, want to fight us and bop, 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 or, uh, for no reason. I'm serious. Like, why? Like, I almost want to fight. Like, we don't want to fight you. But all you thugs are so-called thugs that go to clubs and cause problems. Yeah, man! Shut up for a second. All you thugs that cause a lot of problems and throw bottles and want to fight with someone because I stepped on your shoe, I think it's a bunch of bull because us good people who like to go clubbing all the time don't get the privileges that yeah, we man. should. We're just I there know. to have a good time. Exactly. We don't want no trouble like, from anybody. We're not trying to say, look at me, look at you, because you're a fat pig. <laughs> but we're saying, like, <laughs> give us a chance, man. How do you know? Like, what do you even know about us? I know. What like, it's just know not us? fair. So now they're stopping all the good music, and we can't... Enjoy your beer out of the bottle. We got to drink it out of a plastic cup. Please, if you want to go to clubs, leave your problems at home because it's not fair to us who want to have a good time. Thank you. The two symmetric to have been formed by nature. It's not by nature. How? Some form of intelligence was at work here. We're keeping you as a you hostage. End the show. I'm sorry, man. I'll go get your horns back. No, uh, no, I'm not fighting for that little boy. Go ahead. There you are. Go get our oh, horns. No way. No go get way. our horns. Run away. Go on, you go. go. You get our go horns. Go get our horns. You get your purse back. We're thinking. <laughs> We're evil. You can text Speakers Corner live from your mobile phone by sending keyword TXT followed by your message to 24724. Like, man, guys have had their heads chopped off for less than that. For what? For feeling so doggone good when I feel so bad. How did I get here anyway? We saw these people um, having dinner, like a nice little date, and there happened to be an interracial couple, and these, okay, well, they're either tourists or just... 
like retarded Torontonians taking their picture. Okay, cause, cause like they thought it was so weird that they were an interracial couple. And it shouldn't matter if you're the same race or if you're different races. Like I think all of our parents are like interracial, yeah. but it's not a big issue. It's called the mixing pot and we're not, <laughs> it's called the test. <laughs> Whatever, okay? It's, it's fine and- It's called normal. It's, yeah, it's called It's normal. called two people in love. Right. And um, I think that people should be able to go on a date without having their picture taken because they happen to be an interracial couple. Please observe our safety regulations. My name is Lamar Marks and I'm here because I'm promoting something really, 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 really special. You all have to come down. It's Rain Dance Canada. There's a big course that's going to be happening for film directing and it's on March 4th at Ryerson University. So check out the website. It's raindancecanada.com and you can check it out. There's a ton of other events, other workshops and it's free workshops. So come on down and have some fun at raindancecanada.com. Thanks. Have a great day. My name is Jack. I drive a meat packing truck in Toronto. And my biggest beef is here is the taxi drivers. They're always cutting me off. I also ask, can the taxi drivers please have a little bit more consideration? I mean, when somebody's trying to do a job here, because it's hard enough as it is driving in Toronto. And that's my beef. C1, take one. Excuse me, but uh, you look like you could use a little bit of the direction. Can you look sad? Can you look sad? Okay, sadder. Okay, give me sad. Sadder? Come on, sadder. Sadder than that. Okay, one more. We'll do one more take here. Look sad. Can you give me sad? That's sad. Okay. And sadder. <sighs> yes, 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 that's it, that's sad. Okay, now what I want you to do is practice that, and I'm going to come back, okay? So I want you to work on that. Practice looking sad. Okay, good.